when you were growing up as a kid. Long uh, time ago. D- deep South, right? <laughs> right. Where'd you grow up? In Mississippi. Mississippi. Mm-hmm. Lots of racism, right. lots, of, lots of stuff to put up with. Were you chased a lot as a kid? Is that where you got your great running speed? Uh, no, I was not chased a lot as a kid, but I knew uh, about racism and uh, I knew how to deal with it. What do you mean? You learned it early? Oh, yeah. What, yeah, because, uh, you know... N-word thrown at you a lot? Uh, I'm sorry? The N-word. Was it thrown at you a lot? when you I used were, to hear it, yes. You did? Yes. By the but, white man? Yeah, yeah, but I, I never let that uh, stop me from achieving what I wanted to do, and I wanted to uh, play professional football. But you didn't want to play football. You got into well, football. Well, so How? Playing hooky. That's right. You were bad. I was, <laughs> what? I was a bad boy. And they made you, boy. they forced you to play football. Uh, well, after I got disciplined, then I... Uh, the principal wanted me to go out for the football team, and I went out and uh, gave it a try and just... Uh, were you great right it. away? No, not at all. When you were... How old were you when you started playing football? Uh, I think I was around uh, 16. You're 16 years old, and your great speed hadn't come out yet? No, I was... You didn't run track? No. You didn't do any of that other stuff? I was a nerd. Oh. I was, a, you know, I was just a nerd off to myself. So and, you try and, out for the team, and it wasn't like the principal knew something about you. He was just trying to get you off the street. No, he just noticed it. Yeah, he just noticed I could run fast. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but the principal puts you in this thing. You're probably belligerent at first. You don't want to play football. You get on the team. You somehow make the team. You must have been scared out of your mind if you're a nerd. You got big guys chasing you, and, 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 and you can get hurt. Well, no? I felt out of my element because as a nerd, I was off to myself. All of a sudden, I had to become a team player, and uh, I worked at it, and I put that extra in, and I was able to uh, become a starter. Right away, did they know that you would should be a wide receiver? Was that your first well, position? I played wide receiver, and I played defensive back. What about catching the ball physically? Did I you, always had you, big, humongous hands. Were you good at it right away? Uh, not. I wouldn't say I was good at it, but I, I had that, that little extra so when do you start to become a star where people don't think of you as a nerd, but you are the man? When I became a starter, I noticed the females, they started looking at me in a different direction. When you say you were a nerd, you'd never gotten girls, you'd never gotten laid, you were I didn't 16. know. That's right. I, you know, I was, uh, you know, until I was 18. 18 you got laid? Uh, yeah. 18 because at 18 you, be, you started to get written up in <laughs> the newspapers? The yeah, I, I guess I, uh, you know, like you said, I was a star. I was a star and I... Uh, did your family, because you come from a poor family, did they start to go, hmm, this could be our ticket out of here? No, you know what, you. Howard, to be honest with you, I felt if I made it to the pros, I, I could do a lot for my family. And, and uh, so the first thing I wanted to do when I signed with the Niners, I bought my mom a house. When you say you bought your mother a house, that means, I, it implies to me, that your parents are divorced. No, my, my father is deceased now. He's deceased. Yeah. When you bought the house for your mother, was your father dead? Yeah. No, he was alive. And uh, my father got a chance to really uh, come to so many ball games. But he was the type of guy. He was the tough guy. He was never the type of guy to say, I love you. And you but you knew him. that he did. Did you love him? Oh, yeah, of course I did. You did? Yeah. Were you? I'm very close with my, you know, my brothers, my sisters. Everybody. I felt you were uh, angry in your career with Deion Sanders. True or false? <laughs> well, Deion, Deion and I, we, uh, we were very competitive. And uh, he was, uh, he was uh, the flashy, uh, the f- uh, flamboyant you know, type of defensive back. And yes, I wanted to uh, get up in the skin. You are a class act. Everyone says that I, about I try you. to be a class act. And the fact of the matter is that Deion Sanders went ahead uh, and signed with another team. And uh, he flaunted things, and this pisses you off. So you're well, because not always I, because I think football is a a, a total team sport. And uh, you know, Dion came to us. He did some great things on the football field. He was an excellent corner, and he helped us to uh, win a Super Bowl. But everyone made it seem like. Uh, it was all about Dion. But you were angry with him, too, that he signed with another team after that. He should have stayed with your team, and you should have gone on to win another Super Bowl. I, I would have I loved to have gone on to win another Super Bowl. I, right. It was all about winning Super Did Bowls. Did you confront him? Did you say to him, listen, asshole, I don't like you? <laughs> and do you curse, by the way? I've never heard you uh, curse. Uh, yes, I, I'm a very, uh, I can curse. I can say very uh, profound words. Would you ever call him a bad name? Not on radio. I knew, well, when he went to the Cowboys, I knew it was going to be a big-time rivalry uh, you know, all over again. And, uh, and and I think so many people connected because they wanted to see us do battle. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I was able to win some of those battles. 